They didn't know how to nail. What the crap is... That's scary. Yeah. You put six penny nails, eight penny nails, trying to hold this together. This is a joke. All right, guys. Well, today's project, we're going to try and start on the wrap, even though we have a um, tropical storm, Isis, or I, I, how do you say that name? Isisos? Isos. Iso. Uh, oh. Isa. Isa. Okay. Um, we're going to work on the ramp. We've uh, decided we're going to take down this passion vine. Passion vines typically last roughly about three or four years. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. It's done for the season. We're going to cut it down. We're going to transplant a lot of the um, vine endings to start new ones. And then we're going to relocate this to a better spot where we can manage it a little bit better. Right, honey? Yep. And place this not on the house, so it's not going to be loud. And then in its place, because it was providing a shade, we are going to go ahead and we have two ice cream banana plants. So we're going to go ahead and plant them over in this area here. That way, as they grow, they're going to provide shade for us. All right. Here we go. All right. Just to show you guys the underside of this. So there's the ground. We got a passion vine there and a passion vine there. But this side has not grown as fast. And then here's the main stock for it. And it goes right into there. And then on this side, this side's a little bit more advanced, but this is also the side that faces the sun. And then the main root stock is right in that tire. So we'll probably cut a lot of this above the bars for right now, but we just gotta take our time, go slow, cause it's gonna be a mess trying to get this all taken care of. And here is Donald. I'm getting ready for yeah, he's getting things ready for the cuttings because um, we're going to grow several of them. Um, and then uh, let them winter in our greenhouse so they get really good and established. So that way when we're ready for spring, we can plant them and let them grow. All right, we got two out of the three cattle panels Donald just we're staking them over here to lay flat you gonna pull those vines off the top of it eventually all right but we're laying them flat right there so we can um, use them elsewhere but over here it's like a blanket. It just came right off. <laughs> so we just got a little bit more to do. And then we got to finish There's taking out the boards. Fruit passion fruit curtain. I like that one. All right, guys. It is done. We just got to... Uh, we're taking a break. It's really hot out. Uh, we just got to move, finish moving that. And then we're going to fix the moringa because it was tangled up in my moringa and I lost a sea pod. I'll show you what a sea pod looks like. That's a moringa sea pod. But we got a bunch of passion fruit that we found. So that'll be nice. All right. We will continue the work. We're getting the ramp removed today. Hopefully tomorrow the rest of the deck. All right, guys, pizza boxes make really great ground cover for weeds. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread these pizza boxes out. And then I'm going to take all of the passion fruit vines 
oops, passion fruit vines, and I'm gonna stick it on top of the boxes. So that way we got some weed control and it will also produce um, a little bit of mulch. It'll work for a while. And uh, just to show you, it's hot, so I'll probably be taking my time, but there it is. Now, Donald got called into work, so I'm going to clean up this mess, and I'm going to try and fix a few things, because um, the passion fruit was wrapped up in this moringa really good, the one that's got all my seed pods in it, and so a lot of the branches just got bent. So I'm going to take those branches that are bending down and just trim them off because uh, otherwise it's going to be in our way and it'll start growing funny again. And so, yeah. All right, here it goes. All right, pizza boxes are down. Now I'm going to get the uh, dead vines and put them on. Now they did not cover the entire area. I really got to get in here and hand weed. But if I can suppress some of them right now, that'd be great. So, let's do this. Alright, that's it guys. And then uh, later on today, we're going to um, use the watering system because it's been hot. So, it'll get watered down. But, at least this will suppress the weeds for a while until I can get in here with and get um, the uh, my gloves and get on... Uh, you know, hand weeding. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten up the vines over here, make it to where we can walk on them. And then we're going to buy some weed barrier. We're going to put weed barrier down um, because this area here is really uneven. So the weed barrier will, or, or the weeds here, the vines will help even that out a little bit. And then the barrier will help. And then um, I'm going to try my best to then trim up some of these trees here and get some things taken care of while Donald's gone. Better. I'm still trying to fix the moringa. I got the, the vines out of it except for one, which I'm going to get here in just a minute. But I can't cut this one because there's a seed pod on it. And I'm going to debate on whether or not if I should cut it. Um, but I got to get the other moringa in so I can get it ready for harvest. I cleaned up here a little bit. Um, that way we'll be ready. I trimmed a couple of these branches off. I'll probably do more later. Got to take that over. And then that's how it's looking. So I just got to get one more little vine out of the uh, moringa and I'll be good. But then the next chore is to finish up getting those vines out and then um i think we'll probably call it for the until this evening uh because once we get the rest of these boards taken down because that's what we got to do next and i need donald's help for that so when he gets off from work we'll see all right got the last thing done for right now and I am going to go inside because it is hot, hot, hot. So we'll see you guys probably this afternoon. Hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button. Remember that bell and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.